Greetings everyone, my name is Flairbless here, and we have returned back to Nightmare of Milani. Now, I figured out in the last time that the protagonist's name isn't called Milani, but she is called Ling, L-I-N-G. And I found that out within reading the synopsis of the game itself, rather than just simply assuming that, you know, just because the name of a game represents a character's name, doesn't necessarily mean that the protagonist is of that character. Now, one comment in the previous episode did suggest use a match on this ivy, but my question is, as we haven't got anything to light the match up, will this match work? As I thought, we need to be able to... Okay, wrapped in a lot of ivy. We need to be able to light up this match in order to actually do anything with it. So, how are we meant to go about this journey? I have no idea. My first thought would be to find a candle somewhere to be able to do this with. But, there's a hole there on the wall. Hmm. And we still need to figure out where this small saw goes. We have not yet found a home for you, little one. Good. The night of a light light is swaying quietly. Hmm. Yep. What candle would be suitable to light up this match? What light source would be that very, very, very thing? Right. The save candle. Nope. Not even that angle. Right, this is going to take a bit of time to be able to figure out because I pretty much investigated all of this area in the first episode along with anything that could be possible. But it wouldn't help do an entire sweep of the map again just to make sure. We never know what's lurking within. Hmm. Got another option here. But it's not translated, so I don't know what this means. So, I basically interacted with small saw over this hole. Okay. But why here? Got a small... Still got the small saw, though. Nope, we haven't got the small saw anymore. We've got a wood brick. But where would a wood to brick go, essentially? Um, have we got a visitor here by any chance? And does that visitor appear to be somebody within the family of what Lean resides in? You trying to scare me, game? I've had many interactions like this before in previous RPG Maker Horror games that, you know, kind of shook me the first time, but nowadays I'm quite immune to your effects, thank you very much. So where did that screaming come from? Well, that blood patch was already there, so it can't be that. So, wood brick match, not much of a synopsis with them. What would a wood brick do, if anything? Hmm. What does one do with this? Go over a gap, or... Don't think a wood brick would do that. Hmm. My thought process was, is... Because now that we have used the small saw, maybe we would be able to advance through the game if we use a match then, rather than when we did at the beginning of the episode before we used the small saw. Hmm. But what on earth is wood brick? Yeah, it's a brick made out of wood. But what, what can we do with this? Ah, throw the wood into the fireplace. Why not think of that? That seems much simpler than it should be. Okay, then ignite it. That sounds good to me. The matchbox is empty. Thanks. 
Um, what is one meant to do now? Go find the fireplace is burning. I understand that. So what's new? What's going on now that we have lit up a fireplace? Hopefully something changes along the lines of what's going on within the story of this scenario. But now that we've saved, let's explore this room a little bit more. Without all the... There's a small hole under the window when you look carefully. Yes, there is. There's a small hole under the window. Yep, that is indeed correct. And it looks like we'll have to insert something in it as well. The fire in the fireplace is burning. And that portrait is now splattered in blood. Has this changed? Nope. Yeah, not all of the game is translated from Chinese into English. But then again, saying that, it's good that we have a translation to begin with. Because... Not enough of these Chinese games are translated in English on Steam, and there's a bunch of them. So kudos to any of the translators out there who are watching this, or any people in general to say that. I'm always grateful by everybody who watches my videos, uh, and leaves feedback and stuff like that. But yes, we managed to do that, but now we have nothing else to work with. Hmm. So on open. So I've got to look for something else within the game. In this part of it, because it's the only part that I can access. But we have no items to work with. Great. Which means we have to find an item to work with then. We can't burn the ivory with a match because we've already used the match up. Searched bees already nothing there that's the only one that had something in it for a puzzle game this is quite hard but then again like that's like any other RPG maker game that you've never played before like you don't know where the puzzles are going to be where the items are going to be where the story is going to advance from uh, but the key to getting to the next area is to take down this ivy, but we don't know how to do that. Because ivy grows in a house. That is very logical. Mm. Don't want to approach that door again, though. That's still locked. And that's still locked. Feels like lighting up the fireplace has done absolutely nothing aside us noticing that there's a small hole here there's a small hole under the window um, I understand that it's gotta be this room this room has gotta be the key to the next part of the game's progression <sighs> it's just finding it though finding it, finding it, finding it Mm -hmm. You will find something seems to be settling in the cup if you look carefully. Take it, absolutely. We found a warehouse key, excellent! There is a cup of green tea, okay. Thanks. Hi. The curtain were drawn by themselves, were drawn in by themselves. Why did the lights just suddenly go out? Why was the warehouse key the key to removing the lights from the nearby vicinity? I don't know. But more importantly, why is my keyboard always spasming when it comes to RPG Mega games recently? Or maybe it's just the engine itself not being able to handle the amount of goodness that I put into it. Or maybe it's just the limitations of the engine itself. So there's a hole there. Can we use warehouse key on there? Yep, yeah, that would be a stupid idea. But I thought I'd eliminate that option out of a window first. Mm, not that one. Open the door? Absolutely. Warehouse key used up. Shouldn't give you an icon like that to tell you that you've still got a warehouse key even though you've used it. What's in here then? 
road ahead was blocked by a lot of sundries. Hmm, there's something over there. But we'll get to there eventually. Hmm. A wooden board of a combination lock. Observe it. There is a small hole in the center of the box. Looks like something needs to blank. Open it. I have no idea. Yeah, the box did not budge. I understand that, but I have no means of being able to know what's going on. On the ground lay a small notebook. Yeah, let's open it. I don't know what happened recently. I always lose my temper. From time to time, shout at that lane. <sighs> Maybe I really need to adjust my mind. Is it due to increasing number of troubles recently? Today I got my, I lost my temper again. Severely. I gave Lane a hard slap. How dare she put nails into Queen Yon's milk powder can. I only want to persuade and educate. But this child, still talking back. I can't bear the for a while. I... In a picture. What does that picture have though? Hmm. Please move up game. Thank you. I like it when stuff like that approaches me. Huh? Are we suddenly just boxed in? Um, game, can I please move? Hmm. The only thing I can get out of that is that that picture has like a two tally on it. Hmm. Not getting much out of all this. Some talks about discuss on the floor. Hmm. Yeah, this hasn't really opened up a lot of options, really. It's given us a load of nothing again. So once again, I'll be right back when I find something amongst the darkness. This has changed. The new Chinese white tastes really good, but it is a little EX until I've enjoyed it. Then ask the butler for a little such a go can be found in here. The butler really has the potential to be a pro a profiter, sorry. There is no I remember mum had money in her bedside table. Hmm. Money in her bedside table. Well, the book's content has definitely changed, but that's still some charcoal with residue temperature. Hmm. Yeah, so that's just the, uh, the fire burning out. <sighs> okay. This has not really given us any new leads. Like, yep, you know that's not going to work. It looks, it looks like it's broken. Yep, it definitely well is. Just like our chances so far. A conspicuous assailant was seen in the jewelry. Okay. Got obsidian. Hmm. The edges are sharp. Okay, nice. Drawn by themselves. So is this like a weapon which we can use in? This obsidian? If we can maneuver around that is. A sheet of paper there. Hello. Today I sneaked into my sister's room door. I saw her sitting in the room smoking something. Amazing. What is that? It doesn't look like cigarettes. What is that? 
Gotta be something you don't want to know about, little one. Hmm. So, it is definitely a family that has trouble with her own personnel called Lane. But why they have a hatred towards Lane, I don't know. What did Lean do to all of them? But of course, the classic trope is, is that how can such an innocent looking individual do such things if they did such things to begin with? Well, usually the cutest flowers hide their thorns very well. But what they're up against is an unsolvable puzzle at the moment. Well, if he, um,. Edge is a sharp thing, can we... Okay, still can't do anything about the ivy. That's a given. That's a definite fact. Ugh, seems to be going around in circles at the moment, unfortunately. Hopefully we'll be able to find something in the future. Hmm. So there's definitely an enemy there, because whenever I... Whenever I move, I move, it moves as well. going to be that. Ah, stuff obsidian into a small hole. Yep. Obsidian used up. A wooden box with a combination lock. Observe it. A few bright red words were written on the bottom of the box. Horizontal. Three. Top. Back. Hmm. Horizontal. Three. So is this like a clock? But then that would mean there'll be five digits rather than four. Horizontal. Three. Top. Back. Trying to decipher the mean of words. Unfortunately. But. This is a clue, and it's a very good thing that we have been given a clue, but now we need to work out what this piece of text is referring to, and where it goes. We can't do anything yet. We still need to use this clue in order to solve something. So... The only slight indication we get from all this is that the three is capitalized. So it has to be something which has three on it like a clock or anything else with a three on it. Or it could be the third door that we opened in the game. But then again, that could be any other doors. Stuff like that. Like really cryptic stuff. Or it could be very simple, and I'm just making it much harder than it is. <laughs> uh, but we shall prevail through this, and we shall prevail through it together. Don't know how many endings there are to this game, but if there's a lot of them, then we're going to have a really hard time trying to find them all. Uh, um, I didn't even go down keyboard. Why are you just doing random things sometimes? Ugh. I don't understand my computer at times. I do want a new one. Even though I've built this one myself, I'm not really trusting my own abilities to put together a computer. But not for us. Yep, we've already established that. We've already secluded ourselves from the bad ending of the game by doing that. Could this also refer to the number of boxes in here? So... The second number would be three anyways. The top set of boxes. But what the hell would the back set of boxes be? Just the bottom section of the boxes? Or the bottom row of boxes? Hmm. So the problem with um, translated games like this is that 
any clues given are really, really difficult to try and translate what they're trying to tell you. So, the second number would be three anyways. So that reduces our chances from 10,000 to 1,000 in terms of how many different combinations we need to input into the box. But I don't fancy those chances. If, can we, if we can shimmer it down to 100, then that would be tolerable. But this, this hint is not giving us anything. The wall turned black as if it had been burnt by fire. Well, that's our chances actually. Just smoldered into flames. I am exhausted. I have no idea what this puzzle is referring to. The only thing that I can think of with this puzzle when it comes to horizontal three top back is the way that the boxes are aligned within this room. But unfortunately, if you count all the boxes which are going horizontal, it adds up to more than 10. If you add up all of the boxes which are going vertically, which stands for top, that also adds up to more than 10 in this room. Now, the only other thing I can think of when it comes to back is the fact that there's a tally of a two on this person's portrait. And I'm just thinking that that could be like the back of this notebook, for example. So I'm just thinking that it is something three, something two, but I'm going to need some help in order to be able to solve this puzzle and to be able to progress through the game. I'm not sure how long this episode is, but I'm pretty sure that it's not that long at all, considering that, well, not much has been made throughout this episode. Like, there's just been very minimal advancement. I do apologize, but I need to do some more research and I may even have to contact the translator if I can find them in order to know what it is that we need to do next because at the moment i'm completely stumped so if any of you guys out there are willing to purchase this game and try it out for yourselves then please do and if you can find anything on your end then please let me know down in the comments below if you have any ideas on what this could be please put your ideas down in the comments below because i am really flumbled at the moment as to what we can do on this game and if it's going to turn out like this for every single puzzle we're going to come across then it's going to take us a while to be able to progress with this game i might imagine how many parts there are going to be but we're just completely stuck at this point so thank you so much for watching folks and we're going to be see each other's in the next time of nightmare of milani the only other thing i'm just thinking of is did you need to use the obsidian in this curtain before putting the obsidian in the box? Because I do think remember trying to put the obsidian here and it didn't do anything. But I don't know. Look at many jewels. Nothing. Okay, folks. So we're going to end off here. Thank you so much for watching. And we're going to see each other next time of nightmare of Bellani. Have a very good day and take care of yourselves.